Most of us have big things we want to accomplish in our lives. Perhaps you want to write a novel or record an album. Perhaps you just want to be a better family member or a better friend. You fill in the blank. Now think about whatever it is that you want to accomplish and consider how much time you spend working toward that goal. For most of us, it's very little. Now, of course, we only have so much time in the day and there are some things that just need to be done. But what about the rest of the time? How much of that time is spent on the phone, YouTube, social media, or Netflix? How much of your time is utterly wasted? Why does this happen? Why do we spend so much time on activities that mean so little to us? After an hour or so on YouTube, it's very rare that I'll encounter a video that I remember even past that day. But it feels good, and it's way easier than working on a long-term goal. And so, day after day, we do what feels good, and our long-term goals languish in the backs of our minds. I know there's a scientific explanation for this related to dopamine or other physiological factors, and I'm sure that's an interesting study. But for you and me, the reality remains the same. Every day we have a choice between what feels good and what is good. We all know the right decision, but making that decision is very hard. And today, that decision is even harder because common sense solutions such as deleting social media or fasting from screens altogether seem almost outlandish. And it's very hard to regulate such addictive activities to manageable time and energy commitments. I've certainly not figured out the secret, but I do have some tips to help you on your way. First, identify your goals. Understand exactly what it is you'd like to accomplish in an ideal world. Give your goals enough detail so that they're exciting to you. Productivity cannot be sustained by passion alone, but passion sure does help. Second, allot time to your goals every day. Commit to spending time accomplishing a long-term goal every day before you spend time doing anything that you don't have to do. Perhaps your work schedule prohibits you from working on anything before 5 p.m. Well, at 5 p.m., spend one half hour working on a long-term goal. Do this every day. It's incredible what a little bit of time over a long period of time can accomplish. Third, though perhaps this should have been first, get some discipline and regularity in the rest of your life. This is difficult, but it can be done slowly. There are plenty of areas that you can look at. Consider the way you sleep, when and what you eat, the sort of media you listen to and watch. Adjusting these areas can help you to choose what you want most over what you want now. Sleep is a great example because at 6 or 7 a.m. when the alarm goes off, what you want now is more sleep. But you'll never accomplish anything if you stay in bed all day. This is a simple way to delay gratification. Also, think about what you're watching and what you're listening to. Are you just trying to fill your head with distractions? Or are you choosing music and other media to benefit your life in some way? Chances are, if you've never asked this question to yourself, you're not using media to your benefit. This is another example of instant gratification. Most of the music we listen to, podcasts we listen to, or videos we watch are valueless and detrimental to our actual long-term goals. At the end of your life, you will not look back and wish you spent more time on Netflix. Make your moments count. Delay gratification now, or you will never get out of the cycle of meaningless distraction, and you will never accomplish your goals.